From this video tutorial, you'll learn how to create a new websites page with Elementor Live Page Builder. We'll be using Imperian Multipurpose WordPress theme as an example. First, let's log in to WordPress dashboard using your username and password. Here, navigate to Pages Add New, input the new page's title. After that, select Elementor Canvas in Template drop-down located in Page Attributes block. Click Save Draft button to preserve the changes. Now click Edit with Elementor button to open Elementor Editor. Here click Add New Section button to create the first section on the page. You can as well add templates by clicking Add Template button and selecting the needed template. Select the section structure. And now let's edit the section settings. In Edit Section block on the left, turn on Stretch Section option. Then select Full Width Content Width Type in order to make the section full width. Let's add a background for the section. To do it, click Style tab and click Classic Background Type in Background block. We want to use an image as a background, so we'll pick one of the high-quality images from the Media Library. You can as well upload an image from your hard drive. Now let's open Advanced Section Settings in order to make the section height a bit larger. To do it, we need to unlink the padding values and input the needed value in pixels for top and bottom padding. You can also change the section padding for different types of screens. For one, we switch to editing padding values on tablet screens and set the other value for the section padding. Then we repeated the same actions for mobile devices to make our section appearance fully responsive. Click the Modules option and select one of the modules you want to add from the list, then drag and drop it to the section area. Here it is. On the left you can see the Headline Module Content block. Here you can customize the module's content in order to make it suitable for you. Now we navigate to Style tab. There are multiple customization options and you can change here almost everything. We've decided to change the Decorative Before icon. Now let's go to Advanced Settings. Here we'll change the Headline Entrance Animation. That will do. Now let's add a new section. Click Add New Section button and drop the content module to it. We'll add Posts module in our example. This is a dynamic module, so it shows up the posts that already exist on your site with the featured images. We are going to make the smaller number of columns for different devices to make the module responsive. To do it, we switch the responsiveness modes and select the number of columns to use for each one. Now let's go to Advanced Posts module settings. Here you can see the additional options available for customization. Let's add another section. This time we'll use Cherry Projects module. It is also dynamic, so if you have projects on your site, they will show up. We can change the module's appearance to suit our needs using the controls. Here you can see the results. Everything looks really beautiful. Now let's save the page. Click View Page option to see how everything looks on front end. That's great! As you can see, the page really works and we've built it actually about 3 minutes. This is how easy you can build pages using Elementor Leaf Page Builder and JetElements modules. This is the end of our tutorial. Thanks for watching!